Petropolis has suffered from anxiety his whole life. Sometimes I couldn't leave the house. He said his prescription meds didn't work, so he turned to medical marijuana, which helped. But he soon started feeling really sick. And then I remember trying to stand up becoming so nauseous, hunching over. At the time, he didn't know what was wrong. I got a wave of intense heat. Rachel Spiegel, a nurse and owner of an Albuquerque medical cannabis dispensary, thinks he was experiencing a mysterious illness called cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome. It's usually nausea, abdominal pain, and cramping. Previously thought of as a rare disease, a new study suggests cases could be on the rise as more recreational and medical users turn to the drug. Researchers say CHS affects frequent users who sometimes get temporary relief from hot showers or baths, but admit they don't know much else. Even our very own medical expert, Dr. Barry Ramo. At this point in time, we don't know enough about this illness. But Spiegel believes people suffer from the illness because they're taking too much THC. The higher the THC, not always the better. She suggests working with your cannabis provider who can make suggestions for either a lower dosed inhaled product mm -hmm. or for a lower dosed edible product. If that doesn't help, she says you might have to stop medical cannabis altogether. We've seen a few individuals that are just not the right candidate. Lucky for Petropolis, the Verdes Foundation helped him find the right THC dose. He says he no longer suffers from any side effects. It's really important to, to go slow and really understand the medicine. So that trying to find relief doesn't lead to more pain. Megan Cruz, KOET Action 7 News.